Let's talk about the perimenopause. Women in their 40s very often feel that their reproductive years are behind them and that things really ought to be quite plain sailing for them until they reach the menopause. And in the UK, the average age of the last period is around 52. So they think that their 40s are going to be quite stable and their quality of life is going to be quite good. So it comes as quite a surprise for a lot of women when they find that hormonally things start to change. And for a lot of women, this isn't manifested as changes in their periods, which incidentally don't really seem to get lighter and lighter and further and further apart for most women, but may get closer together and heavier and heavier. But what a lot of women find is not to do with the periods themselves, but it's to do especially with the premenstrual part of the cycle, where they find that they're getting a lot more premenstrual symptoms, a lot more irritability, very often emotionally finding it very difficult to cope with things, crying at things they would never have cried at before, or worrying about what their colleagues think about them at work. Also, um, a loss of ability to concentrate in the same way and to have the same degree of memory as they used to. So genuinely, a lot of women in their 40s don't feel they're coping very well in the work environment or indeed in the home environment. A lot of women start getting quite severe headaches in the lead up to their periods or sort of flu-like symptoms. Very often their sleep pattern starts to change so they spend less and less of the night in really deep restorative sleep and wake up feeling exhausted in the morning. And a lot of women find that their joints start to ache quite a lot. So all the things that they were looking forward to doing and enjoying doing in life, they find more difficult. And I have a lot of women in their 40s coming and asking me whether this is normal or whether there's something strange going on because a lot worry that it's only them. But the perimenopause actually affects most women at some stage and is something that they need a lot of advice and information about. It's not necessarily the actual menopausal transition itself, which does generally happen in the early 50s, but it's the years leading up to it where maybe they need some good um, new, fresh contraceptive advice. Maybe they need, do need to talk about some gentle and appropriate hormone replacement therapy. And that needs a lot of care and attention. But women should never be frightened to ask and to seek out explanations for what's going on at this important stage of their life. So it's an important time to actually ask for help and advice and take control of the quality of your life and make sure you're functioning well with yourself at home and at work.